The Premier is being told to urgently sort out a pay deal with police or risk a bigger battle. The police union boss also accusing Force Command of incompetence for not ending the dispute sooner. State political reporter Heidi Murphy. The slogan chalk is back, so too are the flashing lights at speed cameras as the powerful police union relaunches industrial action. So we're starting again. Um, it's disappointing, it's frustrating. The union boss blindsided in July when 57% of police voted to reject the deal he'd done, instead wanting more money. Our members um, saw what other workers were getting. A 28% pay deal for nurses and the Premier's gushing we love our nurses rubbing salt into the wound. You don't regret that one line statement? No, absolutely not. <laughs> it's time just into Alan stops picking favourites. The union also going after the Chief Commissioner. And government needs to ask itself for how long is it going to let Victoria Police treat its workers like this? When is it going to say enough's enough? You're incompetent. Police want a 6% annual pay rise for the next four years and eight and a half hour shifts. And this is something the Allen Labor government has to actually wake up to and sort out. For a number of months we have been negotiating in good faith with the police association and we'll continue to do that. There does appear to finally be one positive development for the Allen government on the union battlefront. A new deal for paramedics is expected to be done next week after six months of forceful campaigning. Police will be hoping for a quicker end to theirs. Members will be voting uh, very, very soon in coming days for a, a rapid escalation of industrial action. Heidi Murphy, Nine News.